And good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ultimate Dirt TV. Here live tonight from the virtual Lakeland, Florida. Here at the longest dirt track we have on the service. US, uh, USA International Speedway plays host to round number four of the Aces Up Sim Sports 360 Wing Sprint Car Series. Brett Wheeler here with you for the call as we get set for the first of three heat races on the program. And on pole after going quick time this evening will be the 24 car of Tanner Pettit to the outside of the front row. His teammate, the 49 of Ryan Avila, lines up at a position of a two. Then we go back to the second row inside from position number three in caliber 25. That'll be Taylor Wyland and to the outside at a position number four driving caliber six, Scott Thomason. And then we go back to your third and final heat row, third and final row heat race number one. Julian Valadez in caliber 11 lines up at a position number five in the 73 entry of Larry Moody will roll off at a position number six. As again, he gets set for the first of three heat races here on the program for tonight. I'm hoping we're going to skip to one to green. I'm just going to message chat just to see if we can do that because there's no point going around two times behind the racing.com official pace truck, but it seems like that we are going to do that. So we'll, uh, we'll continue on, but again, round number four of the Ace Up Sim Sports next week. And again, to finish off this uh, eight-week season, we're in week four. So tonight, after, after this is complete, it is halfway in the championship so we look forward to having your company over the next four weeks next week Lernerville Speedway April 10 then the following week April 17th Williams Grove Speedway followed up on April 24th live from Lanier National Speedway and then to wrap us up for this eight week season we head to the sprint car capital of the world the safety car is going to stick around for one more time and command all right and again we are ready for a start hello andrew welcome safety car about to move in field and we're going to get ready for the first of three heat races here on the program Ted pettit and ryan avila on the front row taylor wyman scott thomas in row two julian valadez and larry moody in row number three, we'll get set to come off for turn number four, and Tanner Pennant stops the throttle down right away. And he ranks number one, and Taylor White, but also got a good, a good jump there on the inside, as does Julian Valadez. So the outside row getting stuck back just a little bit. Ryan Avila with some speed down the back straight away. Trying to get to the outside of uh, Taylor Wyland. Wyland will slide up, and Villa will go back to the outside. Your race four, second and third position is on right now. Lap number one belongs to Tanner Pettit. Here goes one them from the bottom to the top and we'll switch it up from Avila. Oh, look out, no yellows in the heat races either. Larry Moody also involved along with Taylor Wineland and Julian Valadez. Scott Thomas and they'll go on by the positions number two and three. Moody, Wineland back there in positions number five and six, but they're second, third and fourth on screen. But the battle right there, Scott Thomas and Julian Valadez side by side and wheel to wheel down the back straight away tanner pettit after three laps has opened up a nice one and a half second lead over one and a half second lead it jumps up to 1.7 seconds as here comes valadez and thomas and thomas and catching the grass trying to make it a little bit shorter of an entry in a terrible one but here comes ryan of villa now in the 49 car trying to regather the speed of the momentum you see in that 49 car again between Tanner Pettit, Ryan Avila, and Aiden Forster. Jeez, they've had a real stranglehold on this 360 wing sprint car series. Pettit still leads. Will it'll be three to go at the start finish line. So this will complete lap number five. Valadez in second, Avila third, Thomason fourth, Moody runs out to top five, who's back in the pits, as is Taylor Wineland. So just the four cars left on the racing surface here at USA International Speedway. There'll be two to run for Tanner Pettit. Off turn number four again, watching Julian Valadez in that 11 machine, who again started in 
position at number five. So inside that third row. So he's been able to advance, albeit with a bit of luck in that 11 car. But I tell you what, Ryan and Villa not going away just yet from the 11 car of Valadez. White flag is out once and go. And the gap is down. Valadez was two tenths quicker there on the previous lap. Now he's a tenth quicker. Tanner Pettit trying a little, trying a few, a few different things in the closing stages and goes from a near two second lead. And boy, it's only going to be down to about probably seven or eight tenth of a second as he comes off turn number four. Check and flag ends out. He goes number one in front. Heat one is done here from the USA International Speedway. Tanner Pettit gets the win. Julian Valadez home in second. Ryan Villa third. Scott Thomas and fourth. Larry Moody rounds out your top five. Taylor one and comes home in position number six. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. Appreciate it. We get set feet race number two here from the USA International Speedway. Aiden Forster lines up on pole position in car number 20 and to the outside of the front row, car number 99 of Shane Yost lines up in a position number two. Position number three with a 12C entry of Michael Cooper to the outside, the 187 of Rick Main lines up at a position number four. And your third and final row one more time, Brady Ducher in the nine machine lines up at a position number five and the 814 entry of Brad, uh, Brad Waite We'll start from position number six. Get another six cars in heat race number. Heat race number two. Again, we'll get the hopefully get the racing safety car off the racing surface. Looks like we're still going to be two to green for the moment. So six cars in heat one, six cars in heat two, five cars in heat three. Just due to the simple fact that we had. A field of 17 drivers signed into the pit area for tonight and splitting them into what could have been. And again, this is just the way that the racing system works. We have a maximum of an eight-car heat race. And unfortunately, like I said, without us being able to adjust on the fly in the server, we have to make good with what we've been dealt. So, all right, cars will get the wonder green signal here at USA International Speed, where you can almost say it's the pay it's the Martinsville of dirt. It's a real, it's a paperclip. You've got the real long straightaways. And a lot wider than what would be Martinsville. But again, this is the longest dirt track on the dirt track oval side of things that we have thanks to iRacing.com. Again, a big shout out to, of course, iRacing.com. Huge thanks to, of course, Aces Up Sim Sports for allowing us here at Ultimate Dirt to be to cover the action of this eight-week series. Again, after tonight, week number four is done. Next week, Lernerville Speedway. And again, we'll back it up with Williams Grove Speedway, followed by Lanier National Speedway, and then wrap it up from the sprint car capital of the world, the Knoxville Raceway. Safety car getting ready to move in field, and we're coming to the green flag of corner number four. Aiden Forster is going to be the man. To lead this field, eight laps around the USA International Speedway. And the green flag drops and we're underway. And immediately Michael Cooper is going to go to work on Shane Yost in the 99 machine. But Yost, four wheels in the fluff upstairs. Meanwhile, Rick Main and Michael Cooper have a bit of contact now off turn number two. Cooper done well to save it, but unfortunately goes back to position number six as Brad Wake gets by Brady Dusha in the nine car. Wake will move to position number four. Forster again leading the way after lap number one. What can Shane Yost do? Yost qualified fifth quick here this evening. It was only, oh, only about two tenths off the pace of Aiden Forster's time. So, I mean, not bad for Shane Yost. And well, Aiden Forster, the R Racing 410 Watt of Outlaws champion. Rick Main going to dive down to the inside in the turn of a three and four. And just like that, we're nearly halfway home with three down, five to run. Brad Wayne coming after Rick Main. Rick Main in the first, in the 187 car, in the first of three digits. Brad Wayne, the 814, just to the very right of your screen. Frost flag sticks. We'll come out here and heat race number two. In three heat races on the program for tonight. Brady News is going to be under some fire by Michael Cooper. Here in just a few short moments time. 
In fact, I'll tell you what, let's have a look. What if we got our what if we got our cameras? Oh look, we do. You wanna take a look on board? Watch this, ready? Here we go. Bang! Bottom right of your screen is the man that sits in. Oh, look out that rides a wheel. Shane Yost in the 99 car, and that's not a happy sight for the 99. It was Rick Main who we were watching who rode up over the who rode up over a right rear. Gee, it is tough to get around USA International Speedway sometimes. We'll go on board right now with Brad Wake down the bottom right of your screen who tries to catch up to Rick Main, but check and flag is out. We are done in the race number just like that. So heat two done and dusted in the box here at USA. Again, we'll wait for those official results to come through. Everybody got to cross the start finish line. And once we do them, of course, we can bring up those official results. But get ready for what will be heat race number three, your third and final heat race of the night. So heat two results coming up on screen. Aiden Forster dominating victory over a second over Rick Main in second position. Brad Waite third, Michael Cooper fourth. Brady Dusha rounds out the top five and Shane Yos will come home in position number six as Heat two is done. Heat race number three, you're lining up on the raceway again. Five cars to contest the third and final heat race of the night. Ty Williams in the 01 machine for House of Speed rolls off from the pole position. And to the outside of the front row from position number two, the 24 car of Josh Whiteman will go to the outside. We go back to row number two inside for position number three will be the one WS car of Wyatt Schuhan. And he's outside. Driving caliber 14, Dylan Berg will start from position at number four. He featured on the podium in the opening week of the series from Fairbury American Legion Speedway. The 98 car ride pageant will roll off out of position at number five. It's taken a bit to get the drivers again. They will still go around one more time behind the RRacing.com official pace truck. So now they get the one to green signal. After this one, there is a five minute warm up session scheduled, which, have a little, uh, which I believe looking at the racetrack, I dare say that they will get the entire five minutes to warm up on. And, and you know what, rightfully so, we support that decision. Don't forget tomorrow night with the Ace Up Sim Sports, it's the 410 wing sprint cars. And I'll tell you where they're going to, April 4th. Tomorrow night, they're going to head to Weed Sport. And that'll be live on Turn 3 Racing Network, broadcasted, of course, by KR Stolfus. Does a wonderful job each and every Thursday night. But the five cars are ready to do battle here in the final heat race of the evening here at the USA International Speedway. And Ty Williams stomps that throttle down with Green Flag Racing off for turn number four. Schuhart trying to go to the inside of Josh Wyman who gets into the concrete wall. Dylan Berg and Ryan Padgett both go on by. But Schuhart finds his, uh, finds his way to position number two. Just rolling the inside of the raceway. Berg right through the middle. And Ryan Padgett who we're not used to seeing upstairs. He went to the top in turns three and four. Now he's going to go three quarters of the way up. Now he'll slide it all the way to the concrete. In fact, well, he'll say, hello, concrete wall. My, right, my name's Ryan Padgett. Nice to meet you. I just wanted to see how much you can slow me down. Whiteman goes by Padgett, but the battle between Dillenberg and White Schuhart will continue on. Dillenberg now finding his way to the runner-up position. I get the feeling that the top side is probably the place to be. You get four wheels in the front right up near the cushion. And that's probably going to be the fastest way around. Even top one and two, bottom three and four. Just by looking at how this racetrack is starting to form up. You know what? Let's go on board with, uh, with sorry, Wyatt Schuhart. See what it's like to take a lap around the USA International Speedway. See how close 
He starts to get to the back of the 14 car of Dylan Berg. That's that car in front. In the car in front of him is Ty Williams in the 01 machine. You can see Williams just running the inside of the raceway. Through turns three and four. Hopper oh, Clay coming up from the rear tires of the 14 car, Dylan Berg. To start, I just seen them just standing in turns one and two on the bottom side. Starting to see a little slick line developing. There comes Whiteman after Shuhan in three and four. Three to go here in the final heat race of the night. Watch where Shuhan runs. It's coming right there, right, just right in the middle of one and two. You can start to see a slight slick line starting to develop, which means that these drivers are probably going to start to use the top side more and more in turns number one and two. Still looks pretty good on the bottom of three and four, but look at this second, third, fourth on screen. Berg in the 14, Shuhart in the one, and Whiteman in the 24 car. Your leader is Ty Williams, and he is gone. He is out of here. White flag is out. One lap left to go. Whiteman to the outside of Shuhart off turn number four, and Josh Whiteman. I think Wyman just snuck to position number three at the start finish line, although Shuhart comes back at Wyman and comes back at Dylan Berg. Back straight away for the final time here in heat race number three. Three and four. Final time of heat race for the Aces Up Sims Sports 360 Wing Sprint Car Series. Ty Williams gets the win. Second is going to go to Dylan Berg. Wyatt Shuhart following closely in position number three. Fourth will go to Josh Whiteman and Ryan Padgett. We'll make up the top five again straight into a five-minute warm-up session. Let's take a look at your official results. It is going to be Ty Williams who gets the win from Dylan Berg in second position by 31, make that 51 thousandths of a second. Back to Wyatt Shuart. It's a half a tenth of a second between Dylan Berg and Wyatt Shuart. And a little over a tenth and a half. Back to Josh Wyman in position number four. Ryan Padgett in the 98. Home in position number five, and he has got a long way to go. Well, with that being said, we'll take this opportunity right now to step aside here on Ultimate Dirt TV. We'll come back, we'll pay some bills on the other side of this. Your main event for the Ace Sub Sim Sports 360 Wing Sprint Car Series, live from the virtual USA International Speedway. iRacing is a sim racing game that combines a true-to-life racing experience with an online community of virtual racing enthusiasts all around the globe. iRacing offers a multitude of officially licensed cars and tracks, laser scanned with millimeter accuracy. The car models and mechanical systems are based on real-world physics, engineered in cooperation with manufacturers and racing teams. Our skill license system ranges from rookie to pro, ensuring members are always pitted against those with similar skill sets. Members are able to sign up for a weekly racing series, compete in time trials, host a private race with friends, and participate in racing leagues created and run by the community. With over 200,000 members, iRacing works in partnership with renowned motorsports organizations like NASCAR to deliver virtual races based on the real-life NASCAR Cup Series, as well as many other series on the NASCAR ladder. iRacing also features team racing, providing a variety of options for members to create and manage their own teams, race with friends or real-world teammates in full-length endurance events like the 24 Hours of Daytona, Spa 24, or the Bathurst 12 Hour. Participate in solo races, championship seasons, and hosted in league events with AI racing. With a rapidly expanding catalog of 70 plus cars and 85 plus tracks from real world racing series, test your abilities with challenging computer-based competition. Additional partners include IMSA, the World of Outlaws, and Supercars, allowing members to participate in their very own Bathurst 1000, Chili Bowl, Sebring 12 Hour, and many more iconic events. This is iRacing, 
delivering the most authentic racing experience short of getting into a real race car. Sign up today at iRacing.com. And we are back here on Ultimate Dirt TV coverage of the ASF Sim Sports 360 Wing Sprint Car Series here tonight from the USA International Speedway here in Lakeland, Florida. As good evening, race fans, Brett Wheeler with you for the call as we get set for your 30 lap A main event to come. And just to recap what we've seen so far, Tanner Pettit. Aiden Forster and Ty Williams, they all got the job done in their heat races. And well, let's take a look at your feature race starting lineup for tonight's 30 lap main event. On the front row from position number one, a little 24 car of Tanner Pettit to the outside of the front row, driving car number 20. Aiden Forster lines up at a position number two. Then we go back to the second row from position number three with the 01 car of Ty Williams to his outside driving car number 11. Julian Valadez starts position number four. Position number five with the 187 car of Rick Main to his outside in car number 14. Dylan Burke starts position number six. Position number seven with the 49 car of Ryan Avila to the outside. The 814 from position number eight, that is Brad White. Row five, inside and outside, from position number nine, driving the one WS car, that'll be White Shuhart to his outside, driving car number six, Scott Thomason lines up, at a position number 10. Position number 11 with the 12C entry of Michael Cooper, from 12 with the 24 entry of Josh Whiteman. We go back to your seventh row, inside and outside, from position number 13 in caliber 73, that is Larry Moody, and to the outside in caliber 9, Brody Dusha lines up at a position number 14. Your second last row, inside and outside, the 98 of Ryan Paget starts position number 15, the 25 of Taylor Wineland starts position number 16. And your 17th and final starter here this evening from the USA International Speedway, piloting car number 99, that is Shane Yost. 30 laps on the board. Can tell you that Rick Main has been given an EOL penalty. So Rick Main, who was scheduled to start position number five, now unfortunately is going to go back to the tail end of the field. One to green here at USA International Speedway. Round number four of the series. Could tell you we are over 19,000 followers strong. So thank you, everybody. And it's been a part of Ultimate Dirt TV, whether it's one time, two times, three, four, five. It doesn't matter how many broadcasts you've been to. If you follow the channel, thank you very, very much. It is much appreciated. We'll have real life racing in a couple of weeks' time as well. Looking forward to that one. Headed up to Lismore Speedway. All right, Aces Up Sim Sports, round number four here at USA International Speedway. 30 laps on the board 
Let's get turning for 30 as Tanner Pettit rolls us bound the front straight away. And we are green flag racing. And it's going to be Aiden Forster immediately diving down to the inside with Tanner Pettit rolling to the top side. Three wide as Ryan Avila goes to the inside of Valadez who was through the middle. And Ty Williams upstairs into turn number three. As they make their way off turn number four, Valadez and Williams are going to switch line. Oh boy, Williams backs out of it. As Valadez got that 11 car all sorts of squirrely and crossed up as they complete. Lap number one on the team cards once again. Pettit, Forster and Avila. They go one, two and three. Valadez in fourth, Williams in fifth. Then you go back to Berg and Schuart. As Schuart goes down to the inside. Speaking of going down to the inside, Scott Thomason. Trying to make his way on the inside of uh, Brad Wayne in the 814 car, but Wayne now going to pull the 814 to the top of the range track. Valadez goes back to the outside of Ty Williams. He'll reclaim position number four. Just to the right of your screen, you see Dylan Berg and White Stewart also trying to move up inside the top five, but the battle was almost on for the race leader. What's up, Justin? How are you, buddy? It's Tanner Pettit leading the way once again down into one and two. Watching Valadez and Williams again. Valadez in the 11 car just tags the wall on the exit of turn number two. We will go yellow. So we're just going to make a quick little decision on this one. So bear with us, folks. We're just going to go to the track cinematic. Uh, okay, so in regards to to that one, I'm going to call that one a racing deal because the initial contact drivers were just three wide and everybody just sort of one came up, one came down. It was just the, the guy in the middle had literally nowhere to go. Um, again, that was just hard racing and unfortunately... As he backed out of it, the car came on the inside. There was nothing that either one of those two drivers could have done. So, uh, Chad, they can just line up where R-Racing tells them to. And, yeah, we'll go one to green. We'll use a two to green, so I'm not going to take the laps away. All right, there we go. So, again, we'll just make the... Like that, there we go. So again, that was just purely simply the fact of a, of a racing deal. So I don't believe anybody has got any blacks. No, no one's got a black flag, which is good. So Shane Yost will tag up the tail end of the field. Larry Moody is out of the event tonight, and he was one of those drivers that was just caught up involved in that one took uh, a hard nasty tumble on the front straight away lights are out one degree in the field will single file it up so single file restart here at USA International Speedway so we got three and a half laps in before the first yellow comes out So Tanner Pettit, Aidan Forster, Ryan Avila, Julian Valadez, and Ty Williams, your top fivers. We should be ready for a start here off turn number four. So the safety car is up, and we're ready to go racing one more time here at USA. And the green flag flies once again, and Tanner Pettit says, OK, boys. Let's go back racing here at USA International Speedway. Still a long way to go. Forced to try the inside in turn number one and two. And immediately we'll go back and look at Valadez and Ty Williams who will continue their battle for what is positions number four and five. And again, they both go to the top shelf. Meanwhile, the challenge was on for the race lead. Aiden Forced that came after Tanner Pettit on the exit of turn number four. Pettit to the top side. Yellow is out. sound again for a minute uh, 
again, that one is going to be just ruled as a as a racing deal. Um, the 25 car of Wineland, who's already disconnected, was just sort of sliding up. Didn't leave a, a whole lot of room for for Paget, who caught the the bump and then the wall. So again, just line up what our racing tells you to. If you're happy to go one to green, go one to green. If you don't have that, I can do that command. No worries. All right, so we're back, ready to go racing here off turn number four, hopefully, and looks like the field is one to green, so the single file restart comes into effect one more time. Back to green off turn number four. Tanner Pettit, eight and four star. And again, it's a slow pace as Forster trying to time the start. And Pettit really delayed the start. And well, rightfully so, because he is the car that dictates the restart. And well, Forster says, okay, you want to play those games? Have a look at this game on the inside of turn number one and two. Oh boy, we are yellow one more time. Back to that. All right. So the course for the caution was the 14 car, the R Racing 140 of Dylan Berg, just got up into the left rear of Ty Williams and half spun the car. So that's going to be ruled on Dylan Berg, who's back in the pits. But uh, I can just give him an EOL anyway. So. Ah, you got a mind, Chad. All right, so again, we make those decisions and obviously we, we mute the sound so the drivers don't come through because we know drivers here on RAC, including myself, can get a little bit heated. And it just happens to be that we like to make sure that nothing that any of the drivers say come over the broadcast so essentially making it a one-way communication system to me anyway so no doubt the 20 car of eight and four star would have been given a, a little bit of a warning with regards to moving out of line on the restart but once we go back green seven down 23 to run the 24 entry of tanda pennant leads the way from Aiden Forster in the 20 car, Ryan Villa in the 49 car, Julian Vallad is in the 11, and Ty Williams in the 01 will make up your top five. And, well, biggest mover so far. If you take a look down the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Ryan Villa plus four, Brody Dusha plus four. And we've still got 14 cars left on the racetrack and on the lead lap as well. All right, back to green we go off turn number four. That's the 24 car of Tanner Pettit. To lead from Forster, Avila, Valadez, Williams, Schuart, Thomason, White, Whiteman and Dushia, top 10, Paget, Mainberg and Cooper will be the cars that are left on the racing surface as well. Shane Yost is a lap down, but I can tell you he has done the old exit from the race server. Schuart got by Ty Williams, so Williams will get shuffled back to position number six as well, Brad White. He left some company here with the 24 car of Josh Weidman. Speaking of uh, Weidman, in the 24, now he almost got to the outside of Wade off turn number two. And Scott Thomason in the six car looking to move into position number six. He's going to catch up to the 01 car of Ty Williams. Who Williams again trying to get a run on the outside of the 1 WS car of White Shoehart as they work down into turn number, two, uh, turn number one. 
Off for turn number two, it's still your race leader of Tanner Pettit, and he will lead 10 laps so far, 10 of 10, here in tonight's main event around the USA International Speedway. A lot of miles being driven and still plenty of miles to come. Williams and Schuhart, it's the battle of the one cars. And you put more ones just in front of that, gives you the 11 of Julian Ballard is outside of a podium position. Schuart goes through the middle. He'll stay locked through the middle. And again, that'll force Ty Williams' hand to go either go outside or inside. But he's still trying to decide where the best route possible to get by the 1WS car. White Schuart. And well, he had a good look on the inside in turn number one and two. But couldn't make anything happen. Again, Williams is going to go upstairs into turn number three. Now looking to get a run. You've got to be careful to bump off turn number four. Shuhart may have caught him up on the inside on the exit of turn four. And now Shuhart and Williams side by side for positions number four and five. And give the spot. Oh boy, it's a drag race. Why it's Shuhart with a big run down the back straight away. Williams and Shuhart, one upstairs, one down low. Who's it going to be at the line? Shuhart just as we will go yellow. Put both these cars to the rear of the field for that one. Yeah, all right, let's make the decision. Let's go here. Let's go here. All right, so the review of the replay sees the nine car of still moving up the racetrack, knowing that the, the turn's coming in. He knows there's a car on the outside, and then the car on the outside sort of turns in. So I'm actually going to put both cars to the to the rear for that one. So that'll be Brody Dusha and Dylan Berg. Uh, Dusha's back in the pits and so is Dylan Berg. So uh, no further penalties from my end then if you want to one degree in it. All right, there we go. Decision has been made. So Brady Dusha and Dylan Berg, both drivers back in the pits. Will they come back out? Does not look like it. So 12 cars still circulating around USA International Speedway. Three quarters of a mile in distance is what this racetrack is. So we're almost halfway home. So 14 down, 16 to go. So one lap away, three quarters of a mile from cross flag six coming up. The 24 entry of Tanner Pettit continues to lead the way over Aiden Forster. Ryan of Villa again looking to sweep a podium one more time. And the green flag flies here at USA. Is, again, it's still going to be Pettit leading the way over Forster. A Villa goes upstairs into one and two as Pettit. Rolls away from the 20 car down the back straightaway. So forced to stuck right in the middle. And it's a pretty even gap between first and second and then second and third. Although third and fourth right now, Julian Valadez was looking good there on the opening restarts. Cross flag sticks around 15 down and 15 to run. Valadez again still working the inside tie winning. But look at Ryan Avila now starting to get the 49 car. The track side collective speech up 51.com entry. Of Rhino Villa looking to come after his teammate. Good day, Nate Conway. Join you on the construction side very shortly. Be safe out there, brother. I know it gets pretty tough out there, but gee, I'll tell you what, pretty tough out here at USA International Speedway as well as Valadez and Williams. who will still they'll continue their battle for positions number four and five, and rightfully so. The best battle that we've seen all feature race long is these two guys coming after one another for probably 10, maybe 13, 10 to 13 of the 16, 17 laps now completed here at USA. Gene Valadez shut the door on the inside of Williams off turn number two. This will give White Schuhart an opportunity to close in on the top five and fourth and fifth position. Schuhart, what can he do? Thomason. Back to Rick Main in the 187 car. Main with a slider on Thomason. No, Thomason comes back around the outside. He says, I'm up here, trailer park girl, because I'm just going to go around the outside, round the outside. And 
They head off into three and four. We go Pettit with a seven-tenth of a second lead. Looking to open up just a little bit more. Over eight and four still. They'll tell you what, they battle for second and third now. Starting to develop and starting to heat up. These two guys finished with a with the same amount of points in the iRacing World Championships. But it came down to the tiebreaker where Aiden Forster, he won the tiebreaker. That's what made him the iRacing.com 410 Wing Sprint Car World Champion. And right now, they're doing it in 360 Wing Sprint Car competition week after week. This is week number four. And we're seeing Tanner Pettit, Aiden Forster, Ryan Navilla dominate the series so far. We're inside of 10 to go. There's nine remaining. Williams, meanwhile, gets by Validers and shuts the door in a turn number one. And, well, we could be going yellow. No yellow coming out just yet. Now the yellow's going to come out. So let's take a look at the nine car. So first glimpse. Well, you know what? That's... Instead of clear. Okay, from... I don't believe he was ever clear of this situation. No, he's never clear. All right. Uh, okay, so looking at this one between Ty Williams and Julian Valadez, the 01 car, Williams never actually got clear of Valadez and came down the track. So that's going to go uh, more so on the, on the 01 car. Uh, again, if he's already gone back to the pits, uh, which I believe may have, uh, it, again, I'm going to put that one on, on Ty Williams. No, no, you won't, unfortunately. It's probably uh, a split here in it, but you were definitely not clear. And that right there, folks, and you know what? Hats off to him because he just asked a simple question in a nice and calm manner. Was I not clear? And you know what? That's the respect that, that race control deserves, whether it's... doesn't matter what league it's in, whether it's an asphalt league, an oval, dirt oval league. It does not matter. Jackson, and to all the Year 11 construction class, hello and welcome to Ultimate Dirt TV. You're watching the best in the business. Lights are out, one to green. Eight laps left to run here in tonight's main event. Tanner Pettit will continue to lead us back to the green flag. This track is starting to be a little trickier on the low side of the raceway. Starting to, to widen up. The slick lines are really starting to develop here at USA. And this is exactly what we want to see because this will now force the driver's hands to move inside or outside and start to find and search around for the fastest route to get around this three quarters of a mile raceway and with that being said we've got seven laps left to run thomason will go to war with michael cooper for positions number six and seven again you can see thomason just trying to mow the grass on the infield and here are all second jim's lawn mowing services is now going to change his name to thomason mowing services geez he's having a real good crack at that inside on the grass on the inside of turn number one let's see if he does it again it's got the lawn needs mowing. Yeah, he stayed away from it this time. Don't worry. I know it's easy to do. Here comes Brad Wayne to the outside now in the 814 car. There'll be five to run at the line for Tanner Pennant. Does he have enough to hold on? Forster going to be under all sorts of pressure. One more time from the 49 car of Ryan Avila. In what will be three miles at the start finish line.
Tanner Pettit, again, he has been phenomenal here at USA International Speedway. Williams is going to move to position number 10. Gee, I've got to say, so far we have seen a fantastic season. Ryan Villa comes into tonight two points clear of Tanner Pettit, and then it was two points clear of Aiden Forster. So four points separating the top three, and that's the way they sit right now. Here goes Forster with a move on Avila into turn number one and two. The slide job is complete. Here comes Avila. This is the battle right now. Uh, first and third in the championship. But I tell you what, the man that's in second is your race leader with just two laps left to run. And Tanner Pettit looking to complete the sweep here and also looking to back up the win after last week's feature win from the Lucas Oil Speedway. And Villa has found his way to position number two, your favorite American Legion Speedway main event winner of the 49 car. Leading the way from Aiden Forster, who picked up the win at uh, uh, picked up the win at Eldora Speedway, and the white flag is out. One circuit remaining here at USA International Speedway. Back straight away for the final time. Round number four, the A Sub Sim Sports 360 Wing Sprint Car Series. He'll go from the bottom to the top, and he will double up and sweep the night here at USA International Speedway. And Tanner Pennant backs up the win from last week at the Lucas Oil Speedway. What a drive from Tanner Pennant. We'll take a look at your official results, but also your hard charger, your biggest mover, was Ryan Avila going up plus five positions so from seventh up to position number two. Let's take a look at your feature race results coming up on screen. Tanner Pettit gets the win and doubles up on feature race wins. Second will go to Ryan Avila. Third will be Aiden Forster. Julian Vallad is in fourth. Wyatt Schuart rounds out your top five. In sixth position will be Rick Main. Michael Cooper in seventh. Brad White comes home in eighth. Ty Williams ninth. And Scott Thomason will round out your top ten. Then the rest of the drivers 11th through to 17th look like this. Josh Wyman in position number 11. And the last car on the lead lap, Ryan Padgett, nine laps down in 12th position. Dylan Berg, Brody Dusha home in 13th and 14th. Shane Yost rounds out your top 15. Taylor Wyman and Larry Moody to make up the 17 cars for tonight's feature event. We'll go track side. We'll chat to your top three here in just a few moments time. And... Get ready to talk to the top three of Tanner Pettit, Ryan Avila, and Aiden Forster. Home in third place tonight. We're waiting for him to find his way into the correct Discord so then we can have a chat with him. It's going to be the 20 car of Aiden Forster. And we'll let him get the helmet off. Man, home in third place tonight is the 20 of Aiden Forster. Aiden, congratulations on a third place finish here tonight. And I've got to say, you, you really had your work cut out for you, buddy. Yeah, I didn't drive too good over race, but it's all right. We'll take it. We'll solid points better than wreck it, almost wrecking it there. So we'll take it and go on next week. So far, your season's been pretty good. You had a win at the Eldora Speedway early on, but as it stands, you are going to be second in the points standings. You're 10 points behind Tanner Pettit, who's backed up on feature race wins, and you're one point clear of Ryan Avila, and you boys have got a, a quite a good strong grip and a stranglehold on this top three. Yeah, the three of us have been pretty solid this season. Um, pretty sure we, we've won we've won every race, so that's a pretty good accomplishment. Um, hopefully, we can keep the streak going and can win the championship. Next two weeks, we'll travel to Pennsylvania racetracks, Lunaville Speedway, Williamsgrove Speedway for rounds five and six. Ab, what do you make of those two racetracks? Yeah, those will definitely be racy tracks. Um, we'll definitely have some burner of races there. Um, I'm pretty excited for those tracks, so hopefully we're fast and can come out with a W. Well, Aiden, congratulations on a third place finish here tonight. Before we let you go, we'll let you thank everyone involved on this 20 car that makes it all possible for you. Yeah, I'd like to thank Speedshot51.com, Trackside Collective, um, Tanner Pettit for all the work he puts in the setups. He's he's the best on the sim and can't think of enough. There we go. Aiden Forster home in third place here tonight. Home in second place tonight. Driving car number 49, it's Ryan Avila. And also tonight's hard charge of Ryan. Congratulations on the runner-up finish here tonight. Boy, i got to say, you, you're making things a little difficult for yourself uh, having to move through the field sometimes. Yeah, I uh, didn't really hit it in qualifying and then got in a wreck in the heat, so it kind of put me back a little bit. So, no, it's pretty good kind of coming through the field, only past a couple of guys. So, uh, yeah, and then had a good race towards the end right there. 
Went uh, a five-minute warm-up session after the track was still fairly tacky, but you guys sort of made uh, made it work in a couple of different lines. Were we overall with, with how the track sort of played out towards the end of that feature event? Yeah, it was okay. I mean, I haven't ran a lap here in these in this new build, so the slick being a little bit slicker than it was last build and wasn't really sure where it was going to go. So we all ran different wing tonight and uh, kind of just played it by ear and it went to the bottom, I'd say, for the first 10, 15, and then kind of migrated to slider, slider, so... Uh, I kind of found that first. I was telling them kind of move up, and then uh, me and Aiden kind of got into it there, and we were just kind of racing to see where we can get. I'll tell you what, Ryan, congratulations on not only Hard Charger here tonight, going up plus five position, but also coming home with the second place finish and put yourself third in the championship after four weeks. So we're halfway through. What is it going to take to, to be a little bit better to catch up to, to Ryan and Villa, uh, to Aiden Forster and Tanner Pettit to, to get this championship? Uh, I just got to get my uh, points in qualifying in the heat. So uh, uh, same as the 410 series, I haven't been, been there in qualifying. So I'm missing out on a couple points there. But uh, weed sports should be good tomorrow night. And then I just got to uh, kind of finish better every single session I'm in in the 360 league. So uh, I'm just kind of glad I can still finish on the podium and kind of gain more points. Ryan, congratulations on the runner-up finish here tonight. And also hard charger before we let you go. Mate, we'll let you think of it involved on this 49 car. Yeah, I got to thank SpeedShot51.com and Tanner Pettit for building amazing setups. Uh, Aiden for uh, being there all week and kind of testing out. Uh, Mom and Dad for helping me with this. And you for broadcasting, Chad for putting it on, and having uh, us pro guys run the league. Ryan, well done on second place. We look forward to seeing you back next week at Learnerville, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Ryan Avila, your hard charger and runner-up driver here this evening. And now, of course, we get to chat to your main event winner who sweeps tonight once again here at the USA International Speedway and doubles up on feature race wins. It's the 24-car of Tanner Pettit. And Tanner, congratulations on once again sweeping another another race, your second feature win of the season. You're the first driver to pick up two wins. And, well, that makes it two in a row. You must be confident in this 24-car. Yes, I am. We were uh, we had things dialed tonight over at Speed Shop with Aiden and Ryan, and uh, that was a blast. What is it about this racetrack that this 24 car just seemed to have speed right out of the gate? Um, I was actually a little nervous about having speed going into it, just with it being a three-quarter mile and biggest track on the game. It's one of those funky ones you never really know, and uh, we were able to qualify really, really well, and that kind of just set the bar for the rest of the night. A couple of courses, you had the drivers behind you trying to move out of line, trying to time the restart. So I'm guessing from that there was there was no countdowns happening. Oh no, not at all. We were uh, we were all pretty silent in Discord, trying to battle each other. And uh, heard that Aiden and Ryan had a pretty good battle there for second. So it's always good to hear. Mate, you uh, lead the point standings after four weeks by ten points over Aiden Forster and eleven points back to to Ryan Villa. Halfway season, you've had two wins, so you've won 50% of the races. Would you say a successful start to the opening four weeks? And uh, what what's it going to take for the next four weeks to, to come away with the championship? Um, it's just going to take some consistency, I think, and uh, getting by my teammates, Aiden and Ryan. Um, next week's Lernerville, a uh, pretty good track for me. I'm pretty confident there. So hopefully we can put together a good run and uh, edge out those two. Well, Tanner, congratulations on the victory here tonight. We we'll look forward to seeing you back next week at Learnerville Speedway for round number five of the Ace Up Sim Sports 360 Wing Sprint Car Series. Before we let you go, Tanner, one more time, we'll let you thank everyone involved on this 24 car, buddy. Yeah, I'd just like to thank my teammates, Aiden and Ryan, on my momentum sim sport. It's been a great year. Speedshot51.com. I'm trying to build some performance setups over there. Trackside Collective, Jimmy P Tools, Sure Competition Esports, Joey Linger Photography, and Verdict Clothing. Thank you guys. Can't, that was an absolute blast. All right, there we go. That was Tanner Pennant, the driver that comes home with the win here this evening. All right, we'll now get ready to... Well, we've already spoken to our top three plus our hard charges, so that will conclude your post-race interviews here tonight from the Virtual USA International Speedway. It will wrap up what is round number four, the Ace Up Sim Sports 360 Winged Sprint Car Series from USA. And again, Round five next week, coming to you live from the Lunarville Speedway. Don't forget, tomorrow night, the 410 Wing Sprint Cars back in action from 9 to 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Chaos Tolfus and Turn 3 Racing Network will have the call for that one live from the Virtual Weed Sports Speedway for their what is round number seven of 10. So we look forward, so they look forward to having your company on the Turn 3 Racing Network. But until next time, on behalf of the team here at Ultimate Dirt TV and the manager behind the scenes, Umbrett Wheeler signing off, saying goodnight. <laughs>